Readings for the day, 2022 on Thursday, October 6th. The readings from the regular cycle, the epistle, Thursday of the 17th week. The reading is from Paul's letter to the, to the Ephesians. Brethren, we may no longer be children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the cunning of men by their craftiness and deceitful wiles. Rather speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every joint with which it is supplied, when each part is working properly, makes bodily growth and upbuilds itself in love. Now this I affirm and testify in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do in the futility of their minds. The Gospel, Thursday of the third week of Luke. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time a report concerning Jesus spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. The disciples of John told him of all these things, and John, calling to him, two of his disciples sent them to the Lord, saying, Are you he who is to come, or shall we look for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, You are he who is to come, or shall we look for another? In that hour he cured many of diseases and plagues and evil spirits, and on and on many that they were that were blind he bestowed, he bestowed sight, and he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them. And blessed is he who takes no offense at me. When the messengers of John had gone, he began to speak to the crowds concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to behold? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft clothing? Behold, those who are gorgeously apparelled and live in luxury are in king's courts. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who shall prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, none is greater than John. Yet he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. When they heard this all, the people and the tax collectors justified God, having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected the purpose of God for themselves, not having been baptized by them, not having been baptized by him. The readings for the commemoration the reading is from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. Brethren, God has exhibited us apostles as last of all, like men sentenced to death, because we have become a spectacle to the world, to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are held in honor, but we in disrepute. To the present hour we hunger and thirst. We are ill-clad and buffeted and homeless, and we labor, working with our own hands. When reviled, we bless. When persecuted, we endure. When slandered, we, take, we try to conciliate. We have become and are now... As the refuse of the world, the offscoring of all things, 
I do not write this to make you ashamed, but to admonish you as my beloved children. For though you have countless guides in Christ, you do not have many fathers, for I am become your father in Christ Jesus through the gospel. I urge you then, be imitators of me. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to John, the Gospel for the Apostle. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the, others, the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord, but he said to them, Unless I see in his hands, he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faintless, but believing. Thomas answering him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which uh, now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God and that believing you may have life in his name. It is appropriate to stand for the reading of the Synaxarion, Synaxarion from the Manaion. On October 6th we commemorate the Holy Apostle Thomas. On this day we commemorate the Holy Martyr Eroteus. On this day the new monastic martyr Macarios who was from Chios of, in Bithynia, but witnessed in Prusa, was stoned and, they, and then died by the sword in the year 1590. By their intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. Fasting rule is fast free, all foods allowed. <laughs>